Hey all you creepers and welcome back. So Valentine's Day is coming around the corner so I figured we'd do something with a little more hearts and loves than what I normally do on this channel. Um, so I was told about a dating sim called Hot Tuffle Boyfriend as you can see. This dating sim is a dating sim where birds fall in love with each other. Yes, this is a dating sim about pigeons. I don't know where to go from there. It's that's it is what it is. So as you can see, I, I I'm assuming these all these birdies in the corner here are all the birdies you can fall in love with, and it'll be great and good, 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 the good stuff. So I guess let's just kind of jump in and figure it out. So so the only thing is the friend who kind of turned me on this game did give me a little cheat sheet and say, hey, you know, here's some things you want to do to get like the best ending because apparently you can get good and bad endings with people. Which, for uh, those who play dating sims, that's kind of a no-brainer for me. That's new. Uh, first, choose your name. Well, I am a chick, so I will be Ashley. And we will go with... Creeper. There we go. Uh-huh. Yep, Ashley Creeper is okay. Yes, it is very okay. Hot to full boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear normal humans when first introduced. Okay. I'm actually already kind of digging this. Display human portraits? What? Fuck that. No. No, we're here we're here to we're here to make beak. Touch birdie butts. Okay. So I'm assuming that's the date and yeah, okay, okay, we got yeah, so far so good. Ah, St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is, for no, is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. <laughs> of course they do. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and different background and species. Okay. I'm often asked why I choose to come here despite not being a bird. What? I'm not a bird, but I want to hook up with birds? What's... Okay, Okay, it's a long story. It's... But I'm, I'm pretty sure a couple of us want to know. Um, okay. Uh, not every day I see you rushing along like this. Rayota! Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Ashley. Overslept. Oh, I think this is the first party we can fall in love with. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was just barely hatched. Oh, is he my birdie buddy for life? Is he my BBFL? He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Am I like... Okay, I'm a carnivore. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. You're a BBFL, for sure. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on your first day. You said it, Ryota. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today's the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. <laughs> this game's already kind of awesome. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for that lost fun. What crazy adventures will we get ourselves into? For our first term. Nope. Oh, here's all my classmates. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class, again. What luck! Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Oh, hey, you're kind of cute too. Um, good morning everybody. Oh, that was every birdie? That's, oh god damn. Uh, uh. I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. It seem I uh, I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Oh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe you'd like to test that out on students. 
Sir, wake up. This is homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. What kind of crazy place is this? This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's famously a uh, soporific math professor. Soporific, yeah, that's a word. I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expect him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Lesson for the day. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, is it a little warm in here? Which uh, reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh, check out the plumage on that bad boy. Oh, 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 oh. oh we, 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 got a, we got a fancy bird by the sounds of the music. <laughs> uh, what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. I do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. This system will collapse and we'll all turn into collux and dissenters. Oh, I'm high a little giddy goody. Uh, well, when you put it like that, <laughs> could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Uh, my name is Shirogane. <laughs> uh, dot dot dot. Shirogane Labelle Asakuya. Oh, he's, he's definitely, he's definitely a fancy, yeah. You fancy bird with your plumage. Uh, it seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Anybody, that's fucking awesome. He's pretty stuck up, but then again, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Possibly more. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. Or not. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Uh-oh, what kind of wackiness will this semester hold? Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. And here we go. Where is everyone aside from the receptionist? There's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not? Uh, oh, a morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Uh, mo okay, wait, wait, wait. So he's a morning dove. <laughs> he's sitting in a dark corner in the library. Do we have like a little emo nerdy goth boy here? Oh, he looked away. Oh, a little shy there. Oh, <clears throat> not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything from you. It's the thing you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, were you waiting for them all summer? Dot, dot, dot. I gotta be careful. My, my hand's a little jumpy on the mouse. It's, it's, it's going too fast. Uh, but he silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? Maybe people just don't understand the brooding torment that's in his soul? Perhaps his parents don't understand him. Maybe the world is just a dark place and he's the only one who can see it for what it is. I'm Creeper Ashley. Yeah, I am. A sophomore. What about you? Dot, dot, dot. You, you're dot 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 Nageki Fujishiro Nageki freshman Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, um, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. 
Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... <clears throat> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? What? My brother. <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for <laughs> half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, just, uh... Stompy, stomp, stomp. Guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. Ooh, something's interesting going on, huh? I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy, because I totally meant to eavesdrop. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? What? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. <gasps> Uh, you heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Sorry. I didn't mean to listen to you, even though I totally did. Uh huh? Go? Huh. No sweat. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, we're. Oh, he's. He's that guy. We are. Uh, we got changed voices here. <laughs> I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. Every birdie knows him. You're Ashley. All right. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, how did you know? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human? I'm a human trying to hit on birds? Wow, this uh, this game is very progressive. I, I, it's, sorry if this is a little too liberal for people. I, I don't mean to upset anyone with the games I play on this channel. Oh wait, a single poppy in a field of rye. Um, did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. I never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Uh, aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article. In the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain. So good luck, mon ami. Adieu. Hey. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. What kind of shenanigans will this semester hold for us? Who knows? Uh, that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? Uh, he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, R uh, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Because that's what we do for our BBFLs. Excuse me? Dot dot dot. No birdies here. I don't know why, but that's cracking me up to no end. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains. And the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feels no presence. Probably because I already clarified that no one is fucking here. See? There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. Because, as I just said over and over, no one is fucking here. The infirmary is empty. You could say that no one is here. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs here. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. They got Happy Bird drugs. They got other drugs. They got X drugs. 
ooh, ooh, gives you the X-string and super bird powers. And then, but more, more happy bird drugs, more happy, uh, more X powers. Um, this is how they kill the birds and more happy bird drugs. Lots of drugs. Because as I just said, they got, oh, uh, and a trifinim and a, 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 the medication. Uh, what do these even do? Or how do you say them? Care to find out? Whoa. D -d -d Doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? Oh, he's totally a drug pusher. Uh, uh, no, thank you. He's totally a doctor drug pusher. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that just talking to him can bring you down with bad stuff and other bad stuff, or even worse medical things that I obviously just said a second ago. And I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? Oh, he's... He's totally a drug pusher. Um, <laughs> and you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Do you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be in here. Him? He's already gone. Uh, oh. Uh, why didn't he come find me? Oh, <laughs> why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota said he'd gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there's clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, and bird watching. Damn right that's what we're gonna do. Wasn't there another one? Hmm. Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in meta school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I guess I'll be doing bird watching anyways. I think their club room is one ground floor off to the side. Uh, White Dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> this is no pudding for a man or a bird. Okasan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. <laughs> I kind of dig this bird already. He's dancing around on squish pudding. What the fuck? Hey, that's not very nice to pudding. Okay, someone help me out here. What the fuck is pudding? Because I, I was assuming they were talking about the pudding with the jello and the, and the, and the, and the stuff. But I, I think it, there's obviously something more to this pudding. But first, let's, let's, let's say hi to Okasan. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. Nah, no plumage. I don't buy it. I think. Yeah. Either way, he's hyper. Oh. Oh, he's a little spaz guy. I love it. <laughs> Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. B betrayal? <gasps> Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the streets, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looked like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jest, young lady! <laughs> Okasan uses wing attack. It's super effective, because he's like a Pokemans. They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hang, shot at dawn. He will. Okasan will now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. What the fuck is he talking about with pudding? Uh, but and he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? What does pudding have to do with fucking anything, really? And so ended my first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations.